Hello, chain breakers. Did you know there is an appointed time for everything? The Bible says, and there is a time for every event under heaven, a time to give birth and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up. There is a time to weep and there is a time to laugh. There is a time to mourn and there is a time to dance, a time to throw stones and there is a time to gather stones. There is a time to embrace and a time to shun embracing. There is a time to search and a time to give up that search. There is a time to keep and a time to throw away. So chain breakers, everything is seasonal. If you are in a wilderness season, do not fret, change is coming. If you are in a harvest season, change is on the horizon as well. Regardless of where you are on your journey, remember there is a set time, an appointed time for your breakthrough. So we never make permanent decisions based on temporary circumstances. If you are in despair, give it all to God. Oh, God loves the brokenhearted and he binds up our wounds. Remember, in God, you may be alone, but you do not have to be lonely. And if you feel alone, reach out to him, cry out to him, call out to him. He just wants you to be honest with him. He will send you the people that you need. The great I am sticks closer than any brother. He has a peace that transcends all understanding. If your father and mother have forsaken you, he will take you in. If you are lied on, he will redeem your name. If the narcissist has seemingly destroyed your life, Oh, don't you worry. He will restore everything that the enemy tried to steal away from you. In Job 2nd chapter 25th verse through the 32nd says, So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God and there is no other. Stand on God's word. You have to hide God's word in your heart. No matter what your situation looks like in the natural, stand firm, armor up against the wiles and schemes of the enemy. Just like Paul and Silas did in the jail, you just go ahead and rejoice Rejoice now, for there is an appointed time for your healing. Praise him now, for your breakthrough is on the way. Let's continue to break those chains.